When was the last time you looked like a movie star? Are you paying too much for that fabulous look? Or are you getting stuck with an outdated look? Boost your confidence at SolasConnect.com. Latest fashion accessories, electronics, jewelry, and more. Explore high-quality merchandise at low prices. New merchandise being added daily. Our sales and discounts guarantee you get a smashing look for less. Visit SolasConnect.com today. Okay, I just wanted to make a quick video to show you how to get your covenant working. Uh, you need a repository, and as you know, the Colossus repository and a whole bunch of other add-ons and repositories, uh, they went offline uh, due to uh, a, a crackdown by uh, movie house studios, cable companies, and other agencies. So, how do you get your covenant working? Hopefully, this video will help you. And I will admit, this is my first time actually trying this method. I just learned about this searching on the internet. So I'm going to go into Cody. And this Cody has the post build on it. And I was able to download the post build uh, from another site. And I have a video that indicates how to actually get your, the post build on there. I think it, the site was called FTG or something like that. Uh, matter of fact, here it goes. Yeah, so f so firetvguru.net forward slash fire uh, has a wizard that will allow you to install the post build. So, all right. So to get Covenant working, you can do that. You can install Covenant by adding another repository so we're gonna go go to file manager and you see that my post build is updating so I have to wait for that uh, update to complete otherwise it's gonna be a little splotchy uh, trying to do the install while the updates are, are running all right, so it looks as if they're done. So I'm going to click on File Manager. I'm going to go to Add Source. And then I am going to click on None. And type. So once I get Covenant installed, I'm just going to go to that application or to that add-on and see if I can start a movie. And if I can start a movie, then we know that Covenant is still is still functioning. I don't, I don't think it's being maintained by a developer at this time. So whatever's available, it's just remnants of the Covenant application before the crackdown. All right, so this is it. And I know this uh, repository works because I added it on my computer or I just added the link into a browser clicked on it and I can see the listing of all the repositories or the zip files needed to install the repositories so I'm clicking on system and if you're using Cody 16 the way the post build is laid out, it might be easy for you to follow along as well. You can just go to system and then go to add-ons. And for Cody 17, uh, you should be familiar with your layout, whatever build you're using. I'm using the post build. So if you're using the post build, this video will be easy to follow along with. 
so now I'm going to install from zip file and I'm going to select the source that I just added this repository.xvbmc I'm going to select that zip file install it and then I'll go to install from repository I'll locate covenant install it I'll go to covenant and see if I can watch a movie now the post build removed covenant since the developer is not maintaining it and Colossus is not available there was no repository for it post uh, removed that so you can't find covenant in the post build the new post build at this time so you have to manually install it so now I'm going to install from repository and I'm going to click on this XVBMC add-ons repository and I know that Covenant is a video add-on so I go down to video add-ons and okay once I'm in there I'm just gonna look for Covenant oh check that out okay so the add-ons have recognized that a new repository is available and add-ons are, are checking are looking at that repository to see if there are components for it so that's why sports devil just went and updated some settings from the repository so I don't even know if sports devil still works but it did update itself and Bob Unleashed is also going to this repository as well so I have to wait before I can get into video add-ons I need to wait for add-ons that are updating from this repository to complete so I think they're done so now I'm going to click on video add-ons and now I'm, I'm inside of the inside of the XVBMC repository so I'm going down to Covenant. I'm going to click on Covenant, and I'm going to do an install. And once again, I don't think the developer of Covenant is still maintaining it. I, I do believe that they got out of it. They were they were pretty shook by the crackdown that's taking place over in the uh, UK and. I don't know if any of those developers are here in the United States. I, I really don't know. So Covenant is installed. So now I'm going to click on Covenant. I'm going to click on Open. And of course, I could go to Video Add-ons and find Covenant and open it. But I'm just going to do it from there. By now, you should be familiar with using Covenant. So Covenant has been installed whatever updates are needed they, they they're already uh, within the app the add-on or they just uh, were updated by that repository so now I'm going to go to um, I just saw the the episode for Walking Dead I guess this was the season finale and so I, I just saw that I guess I could try to see if I could connect to that if you've been following the videos or coming to the website and reading the blogs you know that I've started using a application uh, called uh, Terrium, Terrium TV. I've been using that to watch uh, movies and TV episodes, and thus far it's been working fine. I haven't had any issues. So I'm clicking on season eight for Walking Dead, and oh, guess what? It was not a season finale. We still have one more episode, uh, episode nine, before the season ends, I guess. 
all right so I'm gonna click on how it's got to be so I'm clicking on that and like I said I don't think the developer is maintaining it I think these are just locations that are still up or however these programs are developed they just go in and search various different locations for video files I know when you uh, read about how Terium operates or you go to the website and read the 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 uh, developers uh, write up on his application he states that his application actually just goes out to the internet and just searches for these files and that they're out there I know a couple of days ago uh, uh, my girlfriend she was over at the house and We wanted to watch a, a, a movie that she had watched some some years back. I think it was called. Uh, it had this squirrel called Rupert or something like that. But I think it was like a Christmas wish. So it's an older film from 1950. Nevertheless, I tried looking it up in Cody, and of course, the add-ons are limited right now. So I did find a video, but I wasn't able to play it. And then. I went to Terium TV and I I found the video file but there was no stream available so guess what I did I went to YouTube and when I went to YouTube I was able to to find it so that was interesting I didn't pay any money or anything like that YouTube now is charging like two dollars and ninety nine cents for different videos but hey check it out so it's working that's awesome okay so covenants available like I said I, I don't think a developers maintaining it I really do think that it's just however these applications are designed maybe they just go out to the internet and search and that's how they find stuff so awesome if you didn't see this uh, last Walking Dead episode or episode 8 you got to watch it if you like Walking Dead it, it was pretty good so anyway that's how you add covenant done Thanks.